What's up YouTube? It's uh, Tyler's Random Life Moments here and today I'm working on my 2012 Jeep Liberty. Um, I did quite a few things today. Did some coolant, reservoir, blah blah blah. But anyways, I wanted to um, show you how to replace your horn. This here is my old horn. It got some water trapped in it as you can see. Um, probably from when I went off-roading. You know, hit a, hit a too big of a puddle. But anyways, it killed my horn. Um, but first things first, whenever your uh, you know, horn goes out or stops working, you always want to check your fuse. Always, always check your fuse. Because, uh, you know, that's cheap. It's like five bucks. And that could, you know, fix everything. But worst case scenario, you're going to have to buy a new horn. And that's exactly what I did today. I bought this, um, you know, this uh, horn right here from O'Reilly's, a universal horn. Uh, it's pretty loud. I already tested it pretty good but I just wanted to show you how to um, you know take it off put it back on whatever but here we go I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can get my phone down there here it is right here but this is right here where your location of your horn bracket is going to be at and uh, what you're going to need to take that off is a uh, T20 Torx bit wrench mm -hmm. and then this is your um, the screw that comes out and if you don't have one of these you can always use allen wrenches too i used to use that you know but now i'm fancy and i got the new torx bit but anyways so once you're done getting that off and put the screw down this is my new horn here already got it connected but once you're done getting that off uh you're gonna pop these tabs right here off and uh take them off of your connections and then to put the new one in, you just pop the new ones on. And, uh, yep, that's it for that. And also, I used my old bracket because the ones that came with the um, new universal horn didn't have this little notch right there. And what I did for that is I used uh, the old 10 millimeter bolt on the old horn. And, um, you know, just popped it back onto this one. And there you go, it's all fixed. And so what you're going to want to do is put that right back on there. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. There's a motorcycle going by. But anyways, yep, pop that back on there. And uh, my old horn was positioned up like this. And, um, you know, that's the worst. I think that's the worst case, you know, to, where to put it. Because that's how your water gets trapped in there. And it has nowhere to leave. So this time with the bracket, I kind of positioned it sideways. I can't really, it's kind of hard to record and do this, but I put it sideways. I wanted to put it down, but I couldn't get it in there with the bracket. But, um, yep, that's pretty much it. And boom, you got a new horn.